Hello, you may wonder why I always have the same white shirt on in every video I make. That is because in the summer it is very important to wear white clothing because of the sun. Before I wore black clothing in the sun, I got very hot. Now I have a white shirt. I don't feel hot outside. So all my life I have been doing it wrong. All my life I have been dressing wrong. I have been using the wrong tools outside, just like in pool, when you use the wrong tools. Yeah, so the correct tool to use in pool is the house cue. I used Predator before, I used Meuchi before, I used used low deflection shafts before and they were the wrong tools for me because uh, I got worse the longer I played with those low deflection shafts and uh, now when I switched into house cue I can run everything but you need to know that uh, to be able to use a house cue, you need to use a very short bridge. A very, very short bridge because of the pivot point. So if you have a very short bridge and you accidentally move the cue to the side, the cue ball will still go straight. You will still make all the balls. But if you have a long bridge and you, you do something wrong, then you get different results every time. But after you find the magic pivot point, you can move the cue like you want and the ball will go straight in, okay? So that is a lesson, lesson for you, free lesson here. Free lesson for you. In my Patreon page, I will show, I will show you a lot of secrets without my mask also, so check that out. So I, I don't want to reveal too much of my secrets here on YouTube. I, re I reveal everything on my Patreon and Secret Bridge. Secret Bridge, you will see that in my Patreon, okay? My lessons there. Let's make a one-handed shot with inside spin and top spin. Ah, you see, it was close. I got, look how much spin I got with one one-handed shot. Crazy spin, one-handed shot. So on this shot, you need to use the right tool. Like I said, uh, you need to use the proper shirt on. And in pool, you need to use the, an extender, but I don't have any extender. I sold the extender together with my Predator Q. Okay, I don't have any extender for house Q. I don't think they even sell extenders for house cues. I, I don't think they do. So one handed shot again. Okay, inside spin, top spin. That was, a, that was close. So this is a very difficult shot to do. One handed with spin. Very easy to, to do without spin. Okay, I will have an angle. I will do without spin here. You see, very easy without spin. And look, look at the position there. But when you start using spin with, when doing one-handed shots, it becomes almost impossible. Almost impossible, but that is not something I have practiced. So if I would practice that, then yeah, then maybe I would play good one-handed. But what, what is the point, really? What is the point, the point to learn one-handed shots if you can play two-handed? Here I will use the five is almost frozen to the rail. So I will go one rail first with a lot of left spin. This, this is an Earl, Earl Strickland shot. Earl Strickland is good at these shots. Ah, you see that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now that is a great shot there. That is a great shot. Position on the sixth ball. Here I will go position for the seven. It's not often I recommend a pure top spin shot without any side spin at all, but on, on that shot, that shot I did that. Okay. 
Ja, let's make it inside spin. Yeah. Too, too far there. Oh, I went too far. I'm still, I'm still okay here. I can make it in a corner. Here I use, I use a kill shot here. I, I will I tell more about that in my Patreon, but I use inside spin and draw. Kill. Kill the cue ball on the rail. Here I can also make a kill shot with a lot of left spin, but I can also make the amateur shot. This is the amateur, amateur shot. You saw that. I see that very often. I always see that. Amateur shot. You want to get the cue ball out from the rail. So you hit it too thin and you miss like that. Exactly like that you miss because you make the amateur shot. And if, if you make it uh, straight in the pocket, what will happen? I will show you what will happen. Straight in the pocket. Straight in the pocket. You, you, you get stuck at the rail there. You see that? You get stuck like this. And then some people can make, it, make this shot. Some people will miss this shot. Okay? But that is the amateur shot. Amateur, amateur shot selection. Amateur shot selection. Maybe it is very ob obvious to you that you need to choose this shot. The amateur shot selection. This is the pro. I will show what, the, what is the pro. Pro shot selection. Pro shot selection. Is this, this is the pro. Pro shot selection. Huh? Pro shot selection. Nobody can even think of that. I kill the cue ball with a lot of outside spin. And I will tell you about that in my secret Patreon for two dollars per month. You will see my lessons there where I talk about that more. But now this game is over. This game is over. This game is over and I almost missed that shot. I still made it. Even with a bad stroke, you can make the balls with half a tip of outside spin. Okay? Huh? So, this is the end of the video. If I had used center ball, I would have missed that shot with center ball. Always use half a tip of outside spin. I, I will not reveal too much of the secrets here. You need to check that out yourself in, in my Patreon, okay? So subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.